So today I'm actually doing a little bit of a palette review and two-in-one video where I'm going to show you this look right here and this makeup look right here, which are both very easy using two sets of different palettes. And I'm also going to do swatches and a review and it's just going to be a really epic review video. I have these two highlighting palettes, which are literally my dream come true. I can't Oh my god, okay, no, you need these. This entire video is brought to you by Chi Chi. Chi Chi is one of my favorite affordable brands and they've got so many amazing things out right now that are perfect for Christmas gifts for yourself, for a friend, for a family member. Put them on your list. Ask Santa nicely because look at these things. That's not all. Look at this highlighter I'm wearing today. Obviously, you're going to see this tutorial at the end of the video. These eyeshadow palettes as well. This one is the iconic Timeless Beauty eyeshadow collection. Look at this sucker. I put it on my Instagram stories today. I was just like, Ooh. There are so many beautiful shades from warm brick tones. There are some more like kind of neutral tones, a few cooler tones, purplish shades, some beautiful on-trend kind of neutral browns, like those honey tones. So many shimmers, mattes, and some like glitter and metallic finishes as well. Like, I just have to swatch these for you. Look at that. These are so, so pigmented and so gorgeous and so blendable. I actually don't mind the packaging. I'm typically not a huge fan of palettes that have so many colors and are in a massive palette. But I love how this palette just can like fold over on itself. It's got a gigantic mirror. So if you were to travel with this, I'm not sure I would just because it is quite big still. But if you were to travel with it, you can do your makeup in this mirror with no issues at all. I love how it folds into itself. It's got a little elastic band. So it's literally just like this artist palette right here. You've just got no fast colors you need. It's all right there. It's it's just quite sleek and beautiful looking and it's not too thick so I'm just a huge fan of the way they package this for such a big palette it's just so sleek still the other one I have here is called the freedom love create and express yourself I should have collection I love the name this one is probably my favorite giant mirror and look at these colors so if you want a good mixture of like wearable shades colorful shades you've got some greens blues purples pinks maroons you've got neutrals mustards golds peaches reds you've got every Thing under the rainbow right here even some beautiful mauves and cool tones I'm sorry but this is just such such an amazing palette and no that's not me being paid to say those words this is amazing like I'm so impressed I've actually been a massive fan of Chi Chi eyeshadows in the past you guys have seen me use them a lot over the years in my videos and I'm so impressed by these new palettes like seriously they're blendable they're pigmented let me just swatch a few extra shades right here for you because these are just to die for like look at that this is such a good gift idea or just to purchase for yourself because it's such a good item it's got so many like this is just such a staple it's got so many colors in it these aren't actually chi chi's very first huge eyeshadow palettes either this one was actually the first one the aphrodite how do you say it aphrodite aphrodite goddess of love and beauty anyway this was actually their first one i think it was launched about a year ago this one i think is still available as well but obviously this one's quite different from the others this is more of an on-trend like warm palette warm tones warm tones warm tones reds oranges nudes everything you need for a warm look so if that kind of interests you as well they do have that one i'm kind of obsessed with the ones with a little bit of color personally because i just love how you can create like a neutral look or a colorful look and use the same palette so like i said those big ones aren't perfect for travel but Chi Chi has also released six new mini palettes. I've not tried these yet. So if you do want to see me use a particular one, feel free to comment it below. This one is my personal favorite just from looking at it. Let me show you real quick. If you watched my previous declutter, my colorful eyeshadow palette declutter, I'll link it below. It went up the other day. I refused to get rid of this. This is the OMFG palette by Chi Chi. This is like the older packaging. I'm obsessed with these colors. They're such good quality. This is the OMFG 2 palette. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly and just swatch a few of my favorite shades of each one. What? I've got a nice big mirror. Perfect for travel. Next up, we have Dazzling Duchess. Sophisticated and sassy eyeshadow palette. Some beautiful warm tones. You've got some red kind of tones and then some more golden shades. And this amazing khaki green as well. Look at that. We have this palette here, which is called Lady Entrepreneur. This is so beautiful. This gives me Natasha Denona Safari palette vibes, except that palette's like, what, a couple hundred bucks or something? Look at the pigment. Celebrity Countess. 
elegant and timeless. This one's so pretty because it's got some neutrals and it's also got a couple of pops of like purple and orange just for a bit of fun for the lower lash line. Some beautiful broke tones and just, I don't know, I think this is very wearable but a little bit you know, fun as well. This one I think is definitely going to be a new favorite for me and I think this is where the trends are going to be heading very soon. This is Paparazzi Princess Nudes and Naturals and this is gorgeous. It's got cool tones and some kind of neutral and slightly warm tones, but it's really true neutrals. It's not like red tones. I think red tones have been. I think they'll always be a thing, but I think this is the next big thing. Just stunning earthy tones. Look at that. I love the matte formula so much. It's so buttery. And then the last one is called Exotic Impress, and this is a warm neutral, so this is where you see a few of your red tones oranges and this is completely matte so that's kind of cool as well if you do just love a matte natural look and here are just a few of the swatches so you can see how vibrant those colors are if you love a good red it's just a staple these highlighter palettes too are a must have so i already showed you them quickly but this is sunset glow i just want to like show you how easy they are to swatch just in case you don't believe me like look how beautiful and shiny those are these are just as good if not better it's like Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm saying it right now. They are so fine and smooth and even look at how metallic that is. Even though they've got like shimmer, it's such a fine shimmer. Look at it on my cheekbone that it just looks wet. You can see this quality for yourself. The next one, by the way, the packaging is like very similar. You can fold it all the way back and it's got a huge mirror in it. This one is the Sun Kissed Glow and I freaking love like the cool colorful ones in here. Like, oh my god. So I'm all about this life. I love how both of the palettes have like colorful ones. They've got wearable tones. Like there's something for everyone. Hayman Island from both of the palettes. This is my favorite shade, Hayman Island. These are a must have. Also just because Chi Chi was really generous and they just sent me like a ton of stuff. They've sent me like double ups of palettes and all sorts of things. So if you are interested in trying some Chi Chi products, feel free to check the down bar because I would love to send out a couple of my extra palettes to some of you guys. Their giveaway is nothing to do with Chi Chi, but they did give me the product. I just thought it would be nice to share the love. Chi Chi just spoils me and I would love for more of you guys to try Chi Chi makeup because it is really really good stuff. So yeah check the down bar um, and let's move on to the two makeup tutorials. Make sure you comment below and let me know which one is your favorite. This rainbow gradient is very satisfying. So I've already got my base on and my eye primer. So this is the Freedom palette and whoops we're gonna do a quick little makeup tutorial using this today. So to start maybe this mustard. You guys know how obsessed I am with mustard so we're gonna start with the mustard. I'm going to just pack that straight into the crease. I'm also gonna run this just like underneath my eye a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this color right here which is a nice light brown perfect for like your transition shade crease shade. I'm just going to go along the edges of the mustard. Okay I'm loving these colors, but I actually think I want to go way more dramatic. So I'm going to start with maybe this like really warm brick kind of tone shade. And I'm going to start building that up in the crease. And we're going to do like a cut crease. How easy and buttery soft that is to blend. It's so nice. It's just when I think I'm getting sick of like those red tone neutrals, I go putting it on and I'm just like, oh, it's so nice. And then I'm going to take this darker chocolate brown, which is a beautiful rich shade. And this one is going to go on like this end of my crease. And I think I'll put it on like my outer corner too. So just in here and then like up in here, blending it into the warmer shade. Just something like that. We are going to clean it up a little bit. So now I'm just using a little bit of eyeshadow base. This particular one is by NARS. I'm just going to clean up and kind of like cut my crease. I try to do this thing, but sometimes it doesn't really work for me. This is the exciting part. I am going to go in with a shimmer. And these shimmers you can use wet or dry. I feel like going for a bit of a like bronzy shade. Like maybe this one just here. If I swatch it on my finger for you. Look how pretty that is. What about this one? It's like a little bit more cool tone. It's like a taupe shade. Oh my god, it's so pretty. You know what? I'm going to mix both of those shades together. Because why not? I'm going to try them dry first. And then I might apply them wet afterwards. Just to show like how they look wet as well. This is how they look dry. Just a nice kind of like shimmery effect. Then we'll go in with some setting spray. And just try them out wet now. Just makes it a little bit more like metallic looking, I suppose. I should really be using a proper eyeshadow brush right now, but YOLO. This is like gigantic. Okay, honestly, these are some of the best products in the whole world. I know this is kind of cheating because I was just going to use the eyeshadow palette, but I just want to use a tiny bit of this too. This is by Chi Chi also. These are the metallic foil eyeshadows. Swear by these. I've talked about these a lot in my videos, used them a lot in my videos. They're amazing. They're just like a cream eyeshadow. 
that are super metallic. Look at that. They're so cool. So this one is the warm brown called Dear Me. I'm just going to apply this kind of like where I cut my crease. Just to make it extra shiny along that line. It looks perfect with this color combination. I'm just using a little bit more eyeshadow on my finger. This is from the palette, the taupe shade. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this. Look at that. Wow. It's going to do a pop of color underneath, but honestly, I'm just obsessed with how dark and deep and smoky this looks. So, I think I'm just going to do a really dark waterline. Dark brown, and then smudge it out with the palette. It's using the same color I used on my outer corner. I have not done a really dark smoky eye like this in a while. I'm living for it. I'm just going to finish off my eye makeup. I'm going to do some wing liner and lashes and everything, and I'll be right back, and we'll highlight the brow bone, the inner corner, and everything else. So I'm showing my mascara because literally this was in my I think 2014 all-time favorites. This is the 3D Magic Lash Mascara by Chi Chi Throwback. This was one of my all-time favorites. Like I'm so excited to try it again. I wanted to like film my reaction on camera to see if like I still love it. You know, honestly, I am such an OG like. Chi Chi fan. Just look at how pretty that makes my lashes. Like so curly. You guys like even see. Okay so I just whipped on some lashes and now we are going to highlight the inner corner brow bone and of course our cheekbones. I'm going to be using for the first time the Sun Kissed Glow Highlighter Palette. This is so so pretty. Oh my goodness. There are some amazing like on trend colored highlighters and then you've got your beautiful like champagnes and light golds and things. Literally am I a magpie because I think I'm a magpie. I am going to use the shade maybe Heyman Island which is a beautiful light gold color. This one right here. This is going to go on my cheekbones. So let me just show you how it looks. <laughs> that is so pretty. <laughs> if you love a good bright highlight, this is definitely not subtle by any means. Like this is a in your face highlighter. I'm going to do a little bit on at the tip of my nose because I just love that look. These are like Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like that's what they remind me of. And this is such great value. Maybe the shade Brighton, which is more of a like champagne kind of bronzy almost color. This is going to go on my inner corner. It's so nice. My god. Fave. Literally, I can tell I'm going to be reaching for this a lot. A little bit on the brow bone as well. It's too highlight. <laughs> I'm obsessed. To complete the look, I am going to use this Chi Chi lipstick in the shade Beautiful Stranger. This is how this look has turned out. Perfect glam and you could literally wear any lip color with this look because it is so neutral. My eyelashes are kind of drying still. <laughs> And today we are going to be doing a second look in this video. Let me know if you like this format because I could totally do these more often. We are using the iconic Timeless Beauty Palette for this look. And I think I'm going to use more of the cool tones so we can do something different from the look you just saw. I'm going to go in with this kind of like muted purplish grayish color. I'm going to put this through the crease. I think I'm going to do a halo look today. Now I'm going to use a little bit of perhaps this color just here which is like a cooler dark brown. So just a really small amount of this. I'm going to kind of focus that in the crease as well but a little bit lower like not as blown out. And then I'm going to take a more concentrated amount of that same color and just start popping that. You don't even have to be careful like this kind of eye style makeup is one of my favorites because it's so freaking easy and effective. Pop it on the inner and outer corner and leave like that middle bit bare. And then I'm going to go back to that first color we used and just kind of run this straight underneath my eye. I don't know why but I just like love eyeshadow underneath. I feel like it just finishes off my eye look and if I don't have it there I'm just like now I'm going to take a little bit of this purplish color, so pretty, and I'm going to layer that on the outer corner. I'm just going to start layering some colors until I get my desired effect. So I usually just go darker and darker with the eyeshadow tones. The smokier and more blended and grungy it is, the better. Now we need an even darker color. I'm going to take a tiny amount of this one, but I'm going to switch out my brush for a smaller brush. So even like a pencil brush or a little eye definer brush, and then this is when you really want to get right into the edges. So there's a little bit of a blend happening, a little gradient effect, and right on the inner corner as well. If you're brave, you could totally use the black in the palette. It's a really good black. Look at this. But I'm scared of black. <laughs> I know some people love black eyeshadow. Comment down below, do you love or hate black eyeshadow? Because for me, I just find it absolutely terrifying. I'd rather use a really dark charcoal. For the um, middle, where we haven't put any color just yet, I'm going to do a little bit of a shimmer. Might use a little bit of just like a white paint pot and just kind of like really cutting out the top edge. You could also use concealer. And then the hardest part is choosing what kind of color you want in the inside. I'm thinking either this blue, or this pink, 
or there's like these amazing shimmery like I don't even know what you would call that. It's like a shimmery beige shade. Look at that. And I think I am going to use this blue because I'm just blown away by it. If I swatch it on my finger, look at that. I just don't know how it's going to look with this eye makeup. So I'm just pressing that straight on top of that white base. This color is no joke. It's so intense. So now I'm just going to quickly do my eyeliner and everything and then we'll come back and highlight. Okay, so lashes on. I just jazzed it up a little bit with a bit of blue eyeliner in the waterline. I'm going to highlight my brow bone and inner corner using a color from the palette and I'm kind of curious to see what this one looks like that I swatched before. It's like super glittery but a little bit fun. A little bit on the inner corner. To highlight our face, oh my god you guys I'm so obsessed with these. We're using the Sunset Glow palette and this one is probably my favorite. Malu Liba. Malulaba. You're gonna see that one in another video soon because I used it in another tutorial. It is just the most perfect tone. Let me show you. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It's like my dream. It's so stunning. It's like the perfect beige undertone. It's not too gold, not too pink, not too anything, not too champagne. It's like just the perfect color. I'm going to use Bombshell with a little bit of Social Butterfly on the center. And that is the completed look. I love, love, love these colors. I think they're so pretty and it's a little bit grungy, a little bit smoky, a little bit sexy. It's just totally my vibe. I hope you guys enjoyed this entire video. Let me know if you want to see more videos similar to this. Don't forget to check the down bar and enter the giveaway as well if you want to win a couple of your own palettes. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!